Hey everyone, Sir Term here again. And today we have our second video with Blue Do Flamingo. If you didn't see just this video, make sure to check that out as we did an in-depth breakdown on the deck and our card choices and you know slightly slight tips on how to play this deck, right? Today we're gonna continue straight on with the gameplay. I think we have three games against Bonnie today. We have one game against Red Purple Law, one game against a purple Luffy, and then finishing up with a mirror of Dolphy versus Dolphy because I had that extra game already recorded for you all. So hope you enjoy the games coming up soon. And if you do, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy the games. In this in this matchup, we're going to go against Bonnie. Um, kind of an annoying matchup. I kind of like this hand though, right? We have Jimbe, we have Perona, we have Weebo. Like, this is pretty good. Yeah, like we can go like this. We, we're gonna get the Kaido later, so we can go like this. We'll naturally draw our we our Mihawk, then we'll be able to use this. Although maybe we actually will naturally draw the Perona. We'll do the Weevil, draw into this, draw into this, and then go here if we need to. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for it that way. So we can use our little ability in the next two turns and be okay. So having this Weevil on the field gives me another attack, which is nice. The annoying part in this matchup is that I always have to attack with the with the uh, with the Doflamingo first, because the opponent can just rest it and prevent me from attacking with him, right? Uh, honestly, I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'm okay with this, right? Uh, again, we're gonna go here. Yeah, we're gonna attack for nine. We're gonna try to get the opponent to be at three life so that we can enable our our big Kaido. Okay, that's why they defended that. So they defended that way so that they wouldn't be low in life. Uh, here we can just give you, I guess, a 2k, 1k. Do I want to give them this Perona though? I think we do. I think we don't mind. Yeah, I think we don't mind this, right? Uh, we can go here and here. Um, I guess I have to have a choice. I can either go the Flamingo or I can go Mihawk. I cannot go both. So I think we just go Mihawk first. Or do I care? Do I care about the Mihawk draw? Honestly, I think I'm better off trying to cheat something out, something out with the Flamingo first. Yeah, I think I'm done to do this. Just try to develop a bunch of units, right? Uh, here we can add... I guess we'll add the 2k to our hand. The opponent has to block it or give me two cards here. Again, they don't want to go down to three. So they don't want to go down to three. Oh, they went down to three. Never mind. I guess they don't care. Yeah, we'll go like this and just draw. We have the gravity blades now to start dealing with their stuff and we are at nine dawns. So this is the perfect time for us to go gravity blade. If they play the basal hawkins, we can still deal with it. So it's not a big deal. Um, hmm. What was it that I grabbed? I forgot what I grabbed. I grabbed the law from trash. Yeah, let's go like this. Oh, they're actually going to attack into it. Maybe, honestly, maybe I'm down to just do this as well. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so we're gonna go... Oh, but, oh man, but now we have this pudding. I still think I like the gravity blade on curve. I, I like the gravity blade on curve, so that leaves me with two dawn. So with the two dawn, we can go ahead and put one here to begin with. They have to rest by leader, right? Okay, they went like that instead. I mean, I guess that's fine. Okay. We'll go five. They should know what I'm trying to do here, right?
It, it, the pudding is not gonna really work anyway. Yeah, the pudding should know what I'm trying to do here. This, this is very straightforward. Like, I'm gonna get rid of your Hawkins right now. By making sure all my units are rested, the opponent cannot save their Hawkins. And we're still a freaking, like... Yeah, we, we can let that go. I guess the opponent could play their Dofi here. Sure. We're just going to play our Kaido. Uh, we'll attack here for five, and then play Kaido. When you find a deal on your favorite thing in the McDonald's... Didn't get another Kaido, though. <laughs> Does that technically count we we, we always want to get another Kaido. Oh, I got hit by advertisements in the music. Uh, let's save this, I would say. Yeah, let's save this here. Force the opponent to have to attack with the, the Flamingo to try to kill one of my units. If they do that, I mean, they can't... They can go... A, they can chain a second Dofi. Yeah, they can chain a second Dofi. I guess I'll just go... Yeah, yeah, they'll chain a second Dofi here. They can attack with... No, they didn't. Hmm. I don't have Red Rock, right? So it makes it hard for me to actually deal with their stuff. We could just go... We can go like this. I'm gonna place it in the bottom. I think I wanna look for a Red Rock or a second Kaido. Hmm. What do we wanna do here? What do we want to do? I don't want to attack into their life, to be honest. I think I want to, like, take it easy. I want to take it easy this turn. Like, I want to keep that Kaido available for us to be able to kind of attack into them. So, I guess let's just play this Gecko here. Let's play the Gecko here, and we'll grab the Weevil. So that we have extra draw on the next few turns. I'm still at 5 alive, so I don't care about the opponent attacking to my life here. The scary part is going to be like a Zoro, since I don't have Red Rock. Kaido can kill one of the Dofis next turn. I guess the opponent could play a blocker, but I, I do have Gravity Blade, unless it's the Hawkins blocker. If I had another Kaido, this would have, that would have been such a, a much easier turn, but we didn't, we didn't chain draw into our second Kaido. That's interesting. So you took your own life. That's a lot of done to try to kill this. Yeah, yeah. You're not even going to try to kill it. So what was the point? I guess you just want to clear my board. Sure. I guess they just want to clear my board. Okay. Um. So we can go here. I guess the opponent is going to just rest my leader no matter what, right? We can go... I think I like going just 14. That's a lot of cards. If the opponent saves this, that's still three cards out of their hand. I'm okay with taking three cards out of your hand. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, I guess we can go 10, 11, 12. Or we can go Weevil, Weevil. Still no second Kaido. We can go Dofi and Gravity Blade in another turn, which is not bad. Oh, see? I mean, they're going down to one. That's kind of crazy now, right? Am I missing something? Going down to one is nuts. If you don't have a if you don't have a little blocker. I mean, I guess I'm going down to two, which is also kind of not great, but I mean... Wait, you don't, you don't have a blocker. So we can just go... 
12, right? 12 plus 7 done is 12 and 12. We can go 13 and 14. 7, 9, 11, 13. Yeah, we can just go 13 here. I guess opponent could survive this, right? Opponent could survive this, this big attack. But it's going to require every single card in their hand. Yeah, they, they didn't even they didn't even wait for me to present the attack. It wouldn't have required every single card in their hand, right? They could have done 7, 9, 11, 13, technically 15. Like 5 2Ks would have been enough. But that deck plays a lot of non counter cards, as we see with the Dolphins and the Hoodies. It's kind of crazy to me that they played double Hoodie Jones and literally took their own life. <laughs> Making it easy for me to just swing with the Kaido to try to get that victory. So, GG's. In this match, we're going against Bonnie. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll go second just so that I could play my Kaido on curve potentially. Uh, we have the Perona here. I mean, we have a, we have a decent hand, I think. That's our Kaido, but if we play, if we pick the Kaido now, I guess we don't have to use our Lido ability. I, I like this Pudding and Gravity Blades way too much. Uh, so we'll go like this. We'll go like this. I like I like the Gravity Blades and the Puddings way too much. Kaido can wait a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, we'll take the seven. We'll attack you for five, let you rest the Perona, and then we'll just go Weevil. Okay. I'm not, I'm probably not planning to use my Little Ability anytime soon, right? Yeah, I, I probably don't, I'm probably not going to play my Little Ability anytime soon. I think we're just going to go for six here. Force the opponent to give me a 2k, and then we're just going to play Boa. And then next turn, we just go Gravity Blade. Opponent took it as well. Yeah, so we'll go like this. Make the Cavendish useless. Uh, hmm. Let's not take too much life. Let's keep ourselves healthy. Okay, so this is nice. We can Gravity Blade. We can Gravity Blade, right? So, um, I guess we'll attack for A first, right? Because opponent's going to rest my units. That's beautiful, because now we can attack for 7 here. And this is the thing that you got to know about Basil Hawkins. Uh, is that he has to rest that unit for his ability to trigger. So if all my units are rested, the opponent cannot actually save the Basil Hawkins. And there you go. They're down to 3 lives, so we can literally just play Kaido. And I think playing Kaido right away is correct. Just to force the, just, just to give us this big 12 way attacker that we're going to have on the field. That the opponent's gonna have to like deal with consistently. I do have to play around a Dolphy. So the opponent grabbed a 2k counter there. So obviously their Dolphy is gonna be annoying eventually. But I think this is very favorable for us right now. Because again, we just we just bought on deck two very powerful units while still having two very powerful units in the field ourselves, right? We could also just go put in Netsner, honestly, instead of uh, Kaido. If we find ourselves the opportunity to do so. Like, let's say that the opponent doesn't play. Cavendish? Okay, well, they, they played enough units to make pudding. Like, they have enough. They played enough stuff to make pudding not really matter as much, right? Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just kill their stuff. Yeah, you can rest one of these. You can rest one of these, right? So go ahead and be my guest. You're gonna rest the Dolphy. We'll go here for two. I, I like the Kaido. I like the Kaido a lot. Uh, the opponent could play Dolphy and then attack with Cavendish. Yeah, I mean, I, obviously I'm gonna give you this. And uh, we're just gonna go like this. If they play Dolphy, it's a little bit annoying. Yeah, this this looks to me like a Dolphy here. We probably counter this one. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. 
I suspect it. I don't like them attacking with Cavendish. I think that's a mistake for them. Because now you give me a card for my Cato to attack into. Uh, we can also go Boa Hancock to stop their the Flamingo from attacking into us, right? While also developing another unit on the field. Yep, that's cool. Oh, that's nice. That that's nice. That was that was a nice. But the problem is that the boa hand could still punishes that, right? Because he bottom decks it. Uh, I like the boa. I like the boa a lot. So that leaves me with four dawn. So we can go here, right? And uh, we can go boa boom bottom deck. And um, hmm. do I want to play anything else here? I guess I could go here. I could go here and just grab myself another 2k back to my hand. Even if the opponent has a second Dofi, we still have a lot of attacks. And if the opponent has a second Dofi, that means they're not keeping any done active since we got rid of the Cavendish. If they're not playing second Dofi, then they're just gonna like get obliterated. Honestly, let's save it. Let's just keep as many units as possible. Oh, okay, that's a nice freeze. Um, I like the I like the second Kaido. Let's go here. I like the second Kaido. Let's just put another big body in the field, especially now that the opponents are one. Yeah, so we'll go like this. We'll pass the turn. They have a tall task to be able to get rid of this Kaido. Anything you do here is not going to matter to me, right? We'll just give you the 1k. Any blockers they play, the Gravity Blade is going to get rid of it. Uh, do we let that go? Or do I want to have an extra unit on the field? I guess we'll let the go. Let's, let's not use that many cards. Ooh, okay. I mean, that... Yeah, yeah, you get you get to stay alive there. You get to stay alive there. Mm. I guess we could Gravity Blade. Alright, we can go like this. Yeah, yeah. We can Gravity Blade and we have plenty of attackers, right? So we can just go 12 here. That's going to be three cards. That's going to be three cards, and if you give me three cards, I still have these AK attacks, right? So that's why the opponent didn't even bother doing it. Uh, we can go eight. Yeah, I agree, I agree with the opponent. Gravity, Gravity Blade is just way too crazy against them. So we go nine, that's going to force three cards, and seven forces three cards, so... Yeah, that, that's tough. Gravity Blade is just so good. That's why I like playing four of it, right? Uh, we even got the fourth Kaido coming up here shortly. So, GG. In this match, we're going against Bonnie. Unfortunately for the opponent, I think this matchup is pretty brutal once I get my Gravity Blade. Um, I don't have Gravity Blade and I don't have Kaido. I'm actually down to Mulligan this. We also get the Pudding now, so that's not bad. The blocker Dofi is a little bit weird because... Okay, that's a gravity blade. Yeah, so I think we just go like this and just run the gauntlet. There we go. See? We play enough of the seven... We play enough seven warlord cards that I think it's fine to do this. Uh, but gravity blade in our hand is so brutal for them. So, so brutal for them. Uh, they're going to be able to... I mean, honestly, at, you know what? The opponent wants to play a four drop here. Oh, they actually play a three drop. I was expecting it to play a 4-drop, so I was willing to just be like, uh, you know, whatever. Um, we could go 9 and just run the gamble again. Or we could go Jimbe into, like, Dofi and just set it up for, like, a next turn. Nah. Hey. Scared players make no money, right? Scared players make no money. If they take this, they're in range of Kaido. Yep. So they're going to block it. 
We have Gravity Blade, right? We still have plenty of cancers here. They go Cavendish. They have to attack before seven. Uh, I don't even know that we actually worry about Cavendish just yet. I think it's just time for a pudding. I think it is just time for a pudding. Um, we can attack for seven or we can just go pudding first and just eat up two cards. I don't think a pudding is ever going to go to eight cards, to be honest. I wish I had a six cost Boa Hancock. That would be the perfect card here against the Cavendish. If we go pudding, we can still attack for eight. Or we can attack for five and just set up the Dolphy. We can attack for five or we can attack for eight. I kind of like attacking for eight here. Let's just get them down to three life. Once they're at three life, I'll be I'll be fine to when I draw my Kaido be okay, right? Uh, we're just gonna go Gravity Blade this turn. I guess the Gravity Blade is not as useful right now because the opponent actually doesn't really have anything meaningful. Like, do I really want to use Gravity Blade on on just Barto? I don't know. I think we just go here, right? We go six. So we can actually go ahead and attack this for seven. Yeah, let's get that value there. If the opponent saves it, I'm just going to go Boa. Okay. And then we just pass. No Kyder yet. No Red Rock. Yeah, no Red Rock. There we go. Yeah, that's a problem. That is going to be a problem. Because we have no way to deal with that Dolphy. No way to deal with the Dolphy. Um, I guess we'll we'll just Gravity Blade right now. And just at least give it to the Cavendish finally. That's my Red Rock. But if I pick Red Rock here, I'm never getting Kaido. So I'm actually going to just bottom deck everything. I don't want to get chained by another Dolphy. So that's why I didn't want to attack with the Boa. It's going to be tough. This Mihawk should actually be very useful. Oh, well, we got the Red Rock anyway, so I guess we can just get rid of it. So we got the Red Rock anyways. Um, I guess let's attack into their life. I'm going to fill up the board. Yeah, we'll go Red Rock into Jembe. The opponent could have another Dolphy is the problem. Could also be a kid, right? Could also be a kid. Um, I want to have the cards in the field. I, I need I needed a 10 cost Kaido. I mean, we still have a lot of lives that could be a 10 cost Kaido. Uh, we'll give you this. This has to be another Dolphy. Oh, another blocker. Okay. Another blocker. Oh, this is our Kaido. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, uh, we'll just attack with everything. And then just play Kaido. Again, that's why I, I think it's worth it to bottom deck when we search. I think it was worth it to bottom deck just because of this. Gonna give me the block there. You should just block with your Hawkins. There's no reason to give me these counters. I mean, I ate up a 2k counter at least. There's no reason to give me these counters. Oh, I don't know why I attacked there, to be honest. Yeah, now we have Kaido on the field. Why did I attack with the law? I forgot that the law was only a 4k, by the way. So it was better to play that Crocodile that one turn. Yeah, it was much better to play that Crocodile that one turn. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. We'll just play another Kaido. Yeah, we'll just play another Kaido. So we'll go like this. Until we find the gravity blade to get rid of this Basil Hawkins. But with two Kairos on the field, that should be fine. It gives me too much counter as well for the opponent to deal with. Yeah, there's no reason not to can not to block. Yeah, there we go. We can play third Kaido next turn and be okay with that. 
I'll be completely fine playing third guy on that stand, to be honest. Against yellow and against green, they go too slow. So you're able to just chain these Kaidos, right? Yeah, you're able to just chain these Kaidos and there's not much that they can do about it. So, GG. In this match, are we going against red, purple, lava? Um, I'm going to go second. We have a, not a bad hand, right? I mean, we have the Peronas. We have Gravity Blade. Uh, Boa will be nice. Okay, yeah, Boa, Boa will be really nice. <laughs> Boa will be really, really nice. Um, hmm. I mean, I guess I can just start here. Yeah, we'll we'll draw the 2K. We'll play this into drawing another 2K. And then we can play another Perona after. Opponent has the race mats, unfortunately, on the field, so obviously they can just do their stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I don't think that's worth it, right? It makes him use a Dawn, I guess. I still don't think it's worth it. I still don't think it's worth it, right? We have to keep this as counter. Yeah, we'll go like this. The opponent's gonna be able to bottom deck that Weeble. That's fine. We'll go here. Oof, the Dolphies are interesting. We'll have Sid's done next turn, so we can go ahead and play Dofi plus something else. Yeah, let's draw the Dofi, I guess. It's not like we're going to be seeing a lot of new cards, though, is the only downside. Yeah, you can just bottom deck that Weeble. But eventually, we'll have the Gravity Blade, right? And we have another one coming up, so... This at least gets me two units on the field at once. Even if it's going to be like two Dofis, right? Because we know guarantee we can at least hit a Dofi. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Um, I mean, if I go down to three... That's a, that's a good gym bit. But the Jimbo will have been better just a little bit turn after. Yeah, so we're going to go like this. Uh, next turn, I guess we can draw into Dofi. We already have a Gravity Blade in our hand. And then we can go like this. Oops. Just need to have another attacker on the field. Right? Just need to have another attacker on the field. Uh, so that we're not in too much of a problem. We're going to just go Gravity Blade next turn. And still have a done open to, I guess cycle with this Mihawk if the opponent doesn't bottom deck it. The good thing about if the opponent attacks with one clay right now is that my Peronas can just attack into it. Uh, so that's very nice for us. We don't want to go down to two because of the kick killer. So I think we can try to hold at three for a while now. If possible. We have to just go Gravity Blades. I think we just go Gravity Blade, Gravity Blade, and just stop the opponent from developing a board. Like, going Gravity Blade on Curve is, is probably the play here. Again, because the opponent opponent doesn't want to attack with K because he's a blocker. Doesn't want to attack with Von Clay because he just gets killed by the Peronas. Whatever two units they summon now, I can just bottom deck. So that should at least let me keep myself... It's crazy that the opponent hasn't used anything yet, really. I mean, they did have race mats, but that's that's about it. Um, we have another Gravity Blade coming, right? We have quite a few 2k counters. And we have a blocker on the field that the opponent has to deal with. They have six done. Which is a lot of Dawn, unfortunately. If they have another kick, if they have another kid, it's gonna be annoying. 
What's their play here? It's a tough turn for them, so I, I don't, I don't, I don't blame them for thinking. Yeah, yeah, they just type the same thing. Yeah, it's a tough turn. Uh, as the red purple law player, I've been in this situation before. You know the gravity blade is coming next turn, so you're like, how can I make it so that I lose the least amount of important units to gravity blade? I guess you know, it's it's kind of weird. Uh, we have another Dofi coming up soon as well, so eventually, like, we can go gravity blade here. And then when we draw another, another Dolphy, we're going to be doing it to the Dolphy plus Gravity Blade. So like developing to, developing a body anyways. Yeah, so the opponent is going to try to just attack into my Mihawk. Um, I'm going to just give you the 1k. I think I think saving Mihawk is important. Again, we, gotta, we can give it one Dawn and be able to cycle. Kind of fits my hand a little bit. Like I don't want this Red Rock, I don't, I don't think. Yeah, you're gonna bottom take the ooh, fire fist, the dopey. I guess if they have, um, no, okay, they don't have the race mats, so they're not gonna attack at all, I guess. Yeah, they're not gonna attack at. Oh, they will attack, anyways. Okay. Um. Interesting. I can force a one K out of their hand here. Alright, so I can force a 1k out of their hand by uh, attacking this kid. Uh, I'll keep the gravity blade, obviously. I'm not scared of Bone Clay yet, because again, once they put in a touch of the Bone Clay, it just allows me to. Um, like once the opponent attaches the bone clay, it just allows me to attack into it with Perona. So we'll go here. We'll go Dofi plus Gravity Blade next turn. We are kind of starting to run short on cards, but again, the let's the, we're getting rid of the opponent's bodies on the field, which is nice. And the opponent gave me another kid right there. They haven't found Ryu yet, so that has been a benefit for us. We can set up the cards in our deck, I guess, with the Dofi and see what happens. Honestly, Kaido at this point will be really clutch, right? If we go Dofi plus Gravity Blade and then Kaido on the turn after, he just slows him down so much. I still probably want to save this Mihawk just because if, if, if we don't have this Mihawk on the field, it's too easy for the opponent to like then attack with the Bon Clay. Maybe they want to save the Bon Clay until I actually play a Kaido, but again, I'm not going to play Kaido until I can get rid of that Bon Clay. Maybe giving them a 2k counter is very telling here. I'm, I'm, I'm getting very low on cards, so that's why I really want Kaido. Because once I have like no cards, it's very easy for the opponent to just go super wide and just go 5-5-5. Five, five, five. Um, okay, so yeah, so that's another Gravity Blade target, right? So they get rid of the... Yeah. They're going to attack me for 7, so I guess I'll go to 2 here. Yeah, we'll go to 2. Which is kind of risky, but at the same time, I think it's very important. Um, hmm. I think we still go like this, right? Question is here, do I want to kill the Ain or do I want to play this Dofi? I think it's important for me to kill this Ain. So I'm going to go 5 and then 5 again. If they're putting counters here... Yeah, I'm gonna go five again. Let's go like this. Opponent is down to one car. Potentially zero. Oh, they're gonna go down to zero. Okay. Their bone clay doesn't do anything. So it's really just the aim that's the problem here. Hmm. 
because the bone clay only has this spell on it to copy. I wish I had another gravity play now. Jinbe is good because we can go Jinbe plus Dolphy. Oh, that's a nice queen. It gives you an extra card here. Yeah. They are going to play it. Wow, they're going to play it out. Okay, well, um, this gets a little bit dicey now. I guess we'll go like this. Go here. We'll go Jimbe into Gecko. I guess let's just put my 2k counters on the top so that I can get them sooner than later. Uh, we have... Um, yeah, I guess we can attack with everything here. Right, we'll attack into their aim and then just see what happens. I could have actually played another Dolphy, now that I think about it. That might have been safer. I could have grabbed another Dolphy with the Gecko and played it with three of the Dawn here. And that probably could have been safer. Than what I just did, right? So they have four attacks here. We only have 2k, 2k. We have one blocker, which gets removed if the opponent gets a Shuriaya. So five, they can go six, seven. If they go sevens, is where I, I, I pretty much die, right? But they're not surviving next turn because of how, it, how wide I am. That's not gonna work. I think I think opponent needed to attack for more. Yeah, I think opponent needed to attack for more there. Yeah, I gave you a 2k counter, but I mean, that's one attack that is out of your, out of your question, right? Um, so they can attack for seven and then seven again. Let's play around them having a race max here by blocking. Okay. They win. <laughs> they actually won that because I didn't get a counter. I mean, I had to block it, right? Because uh, there's no way for me to block anyways. I can't believe that. They actually won because I was one counter off. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. If I go Kaido, I guess I'm drawing a lot, but I'm not developing my body. Is my, it was my, that was my problem. Because then I'm, I'm only attacking for five, and the opponent could have blocked the five with the queen. So the opponent would have had an extra attacker. That's... Ah, oh man. I had to get the two non-counter cards here. Two non-counter cards here. That sucks. That sucks. Wow. GG's. In this match, we're going against... Purple Luffy. Um, hmm. They're very aggressive, huh? So that's that could be a problem, actually. Uh, I don't mind keeping the gravity blades. I'm trying to remember because the opponent does have the opponent does have a lot of like six costs or less units that they can play here. Like if they play the ulti package, for example. Uh, okay. Well, maybe too many gravity blades though. We'll go like this and just high roll the, the top of our deck, which we did. Opponent goes down to four. They're going to go down to three next turn. Ooh, okay. They actually get the extra done anyway, so maybe they don't even take their life this time. It's pretty good. Oh, they still went for it, so they go to six. Magellan, I guess? Magellan is annoying. Yeah, Magellan is annoying because the opponent can still attack for sits. Yep. So that smells to me like a Magellan. We'll go like this and we'll just go Jambit plus Gecko. Yeah, there you go. That's what I expected. Uh, we'll attack for five. Attack for five again. I wonder if I want to go... Do I, want... I think I want to go Weeble over Gecko now. Just force the opponent to continue giving me cards. 
Because the Weevil is going to be a better attacker for next turn. And now we can actually just go Jimbe into Gecko as well. And you see, I have two done open. Second Magellan is annoying, but again, eventually the Magellans get punished by this Raging Blade. So it's not like it's not like we're gonna leave the Magellans there forever, right? We only have to deal with them for a few turns. Okay, so they just went for the kid. That's a good kid. I can't I can't deal with that kid with the gravity blade, right? Um I guess we can go, we can still go sits this, right? We can go sits, sits, sits. Just see what happens. Just eat up cards in the opponent's hand. Since they really took two lives by themselves. Kaido can come down next turn. But then that means that the opponent's gonna use up a lot of dumb between Kaido and the kid. So I don't think they're gonna play Kaido next turn. I think we... <coughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, I think we just continue going wide and attacking Sitsis. See what happens here. <coughs> oh, why am I coughing so much now? Alright, I got to mute myself that time. Uh, they gave me another car? Yeah, they, see, they, they started giving me the 2k counters now. That means that they have less and less cards to counter with. And they don't want to go down to one. So they gave me a queen. They gave me a 2k counter. And they're going to have to give me another 2k counter here. Yeah, there you go. Well, at the same time, we go like this. And yeah, you can clear these two units. And we have two more where that came from. Um, again, Cairo is interesting because Cairo is going to be a lot of minus down if the opponent also uses the kid ability. Honestly, let's let's protect it. Let's just force the opponent to have to use another attack in this unit. Yeah, that's the Cairo. Alright. Are you actually going to use this killer ability? I'd be very surprised. They do. Okay, so they're going down to 5 down. Okay. I guess they can quote-unquote kill me next turn. Yeah, I guess they cool. The gravity blades do nothing for against them. The gravity blades do nothing. Opponent has 4 attacks next turn. Honestly, what if we just go... So 9. So the opponent's at 6. We can go 8... Eight and nine. Yeah, what do we go like this? What do we go eight? And we'll keep the gravity blades to uh, get rid of blockers. Why do we actually just go ten? Why do we just go ten here? If I go ten, I'm only attacking for eight next turn. No, oh, that's that's true. Okay. So if you have 2k, 2k, you can counter this. And now the gravity blade does nothing. Oh, they took it anyway. So I... Like, I don't think I'm dying because the opponent only has 5 down, right? That's why I was fine just attacking like a madman. The problem is that the opponent's going to be a 6k leader. So if they played their queen here, they're going to have a blocker. It could also be Sanji, right? It could also be Sanji. It's law, okay. Still same thing, right? I probably could just ignore that, to be honest, but I, I want the opponent to give me more stuff. Mm. I'm down to let the opponent attack into me here. Because if I get a red rock, here we go. They ju I just win the game. So I, w I, I was like, okay, I can take that live, because if I get a trigger, I just win the game. And it, it sucks winning this way, but hey, you ended up attacking into my life and playing right into it. You have to be careful about these triggers, right? 
Yeah, the opponent had enough to go all the way to 12. Yeah, so my Gravity Blade play would have been enough otherwise. So, yeah, don't play into the triggers, guys. Don't play into the triggers. GG's. In this match, are we going against the Mirror? What are the chances? Uh, I'll go second, honestly. Yeah, I'll keep this hand as well. I'll keep this hand. Even though I don't have the Kaido, I think the Gravity Blade is going to be really good. The, every, everything's going to be really good here, I think. Although, I guess I don't have a lot of my... I don't have stuff, right? I don't have... This is going to be a long game. It's going to be a long game no matter how you look at it. I have to play around the opponent's pudding. Yeah, they get to attack here. They get their law. Sure. Uh, I'm down to send... I'm down to send this down. Uh, let's take a gamble. Let's take the gamble here. Yep. Pudding is the problem next turn, honestly. If I'm the opponent, I'm playing pudding next turn. Yeah, if I'm the opponent, I'm definitely playing pudding next turn. Yep. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, we have sit, so we can go here. We still get the Gravity Blade, at least, so that's not bad. I guess I... Mm, I mean, opponent could just stop themselves from getting hit by Pudding as well, and that would be a problem. I might have to just go Pudding anyways. I might have to go my own Pudding and just force the opponent to also have to respect my stuff. And then we'll go sit. Let's just both of us reset, I guess. Give me a 2k here. And then we go 7. Get the opponent down to three, and that should enable my Kaido going forward. If I ever get it. We're also going to go down to three, though, so the opponent's Kaido will also be enabled. But I kind of I had a hunch that I was going to get hit by that pudding. So maybe what I should have done is actually counter out of that first Dofi attack. Ha. And now gone down to four. That's so good, right? Because it forces me to have to give them two cards here. I'll give them to them. Um, I'm gonna have to probably go Gravity Blade to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go Gravity Blade. We can go like this for five, and then attack with putting for five as well, and Gravity Blade this too. Force the opponent to give me two cards. I can't let them have such a big board. Okay, they will give it to me. So very telegraph what I have here with seven down, right? Very, very telegraph. Problem is that I don't have Kaido. So whichever one of us gets Kaido first, it's gonna have such a big advantage. Such a big advantage. You get the Jimbe back? Oh, you're gonna get Mihawk? I guess you could play the Mihawk out. Yeah, you could play that Mihawk out and just chill. I'm gonna take the 7, right? Yeah, I'm gonna take the 7, so that's why I didn't want to take that 5. Um, yeah, let's go here. Do I want to play? I, honestly, I think I place everything in the bottom here. Still no, still no freaking Kaido, huh? Am I am I risky enough to just put this in the bottom as well? Or do I have to just? I mean, I guess I can always go Perona. I don't know that I win with a Kaido. But I have to have the units. I have to have the units. So I guess we can go here. Um, or I guess we can also just go Jimbe instead. We can go Jimbe, summon the Gecko. 
next turn we naturally draw we draw so we naturally draw so we go here we naturally draw this then we can play the perona and try to find one of these guys okay um we can also i guess we can also just keep this jimbe in our hand because we know we're gonna get yeah the jimbe will allow me to kind of play things a little bit cheaper if the opponent plays kaido here it's annoying but we do have red rock so it's not the end of the world Okay, they don't go for it. Ah, that's a nice gym bit. That's a very nice gym bit. I need the board space anyway, so I don't mind. I don't mind like blocking this, to be honest. Yeah, I don't mind blocking this because I need the board space, right? So we can go here and here, and we know we're gonna have another unit that's gonna get summoned. Um, Do I want them to actually get that Mihawk off? Like, do we ever Red Rock? No, the Red Rock has to be for the for the for the uh, for the Kaido, right? So we go four. Uh, we go four. One with the Perona that still is with five done. Two, two. Yeah, I guess we'll go like this. Opponent could give me a 2k, 1k to save one of their units, I guess. We'll go here. They will save it. Okay, I thought they were going to save it. Ah, uh, yeah. Then we go like this. There's my Kaido. That's what I need. I guess the opponent also has their own Red Rock. Um... How do we do this? I want to play out. I'm going to play out the Dofi. I'm going to play out the Dofi. Leave this on top. But actually, I think I want to have the Dofi come another turn. So maybe we actually just play out. Hmm. Maybe we just play out. Play out the law. Oh no, we want to play out the crocodile. Play out the crocodile. Draw this. Play this later. Can I go from there? If you save it, okay, they didn't save it. All right. So if they go Kaido here, I might have to go Red Rock first. Okay, that's not a Kaido. Great. So I can just play my Kaido even if the opponent responds with their Red Rock. We're both just trading units, but now that I have the Kaido in my hand, it's going to be nicer for us. Again, even if the opponent is holding on to that Red Rock, um, which they are, because if they had Gravity Blade, they would have done it by now. So I can only assume that there is going to be Red Rock in their hand. They can still go Red Rock plus a 4 drop, but the, the, the Kaido, what Kaido does is give me cards that I'm really missing in my hand. Right, like I have no cards in my hand. They chose not to use their leader ability. Okay, they're gonna just trash two. They're keeping four down. Okay, so they're keeping four down. Okay, they trash a red rock. They trash two red rocks. They they, they gave up. They didn't think I would have the Cairo in my hand. I guess. Yeah, I guess they didn't think I would have the Cairo in my hand after all this time. Yeah, I mean, this is easy. I can clear your Mihawk. We'll go like this. We'll go like this. And we'll go here. And now you're forced to have to play that third Red Rock. Wow. Yeah, they got tilted. They got tilted because they were holding to those Red Rocks this whole time. And they trashed them both the turn before I played Kaido. And they were going to top the Kaido, actually. So if they waited just a little bit. Oh, I guess not. Yeah, I ended my turn. They drew. The Kaido was in their next turn, right? So the Kaido was the card for their next turn. I mean, that's a tilter. That's a tilter. Holding on to Red Rock the whole time and then just trashing it when you needed the most. GG's.
Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoyed today's games of the Flamingo. And yeah, that's that's the showcase for this leader. Uh, so if you again, if you didn't see yesterday's video, make sure to check that out for additional gameplay. Uh, overall, honestly, I feel like it's decent. Um, again, I think it shines against Enel, shines against green decks, can do well against black, yellow, Luffy, right? Because you can bottom deck their Sabos or like their, their, their big babies, right? So you can do well in those matchups. It does feel really tough against Rapper Polar. It feels tough against Lushi, right? So going against these two top meta decks, that's when it can get a little bit rough there. But if you can kind of like, I mean, you, you saw us beating some Lushis yesterday, but I have yet to beat Rapper Polar with this deck because it's just it's just crazy. Like if they find the reuse, you kind of get screwed over and it's, it's just a lot that they can do. But anyways, anyways, uh, enough of me rambling. I think Dolph is a really good leader. So if you want to play this, I would recommend playing it. Uh, I, I still like Dofi better than Boa Hancock in my opinion, but maybe I just maybe I just like attacking a lot more than I like drawing. I don't know. But anyways, hope you enjoyed today's games. If you did, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. You can also find us on Twitch at Tsuchomugushin every now and then, and you can also find us on Discord and Twitter. The links to those are both in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.